What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Drisco coming at you guys with another video, boys. And today, fellas, today we got a special video, boys. We got a special video. We do this every single year. And this video will be how to stop and go in Madden 22 current gen and next gen, fellas. We got both versions. So we're going to show you guys in this video right here from the stick god himself. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, if you guys have not already, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe, fellas. Doing those three things will go a long way, and I would highly appreciate it, fellas. And also, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you guys don't miss anything Madden 22. All right, fellas, so that's about going to hop into the video, fellas. And like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop and go in Madden 22, fellas. So right here, I, I, I'm on next gen right here. I'm on next gen where the movement is it's slower than current gen. Um, but it's not it's not bad. It's not like bad, bad, but it's it's just a little bit slow. It's a little bit slower than current gen. So, like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stop and go. So I'm gonna show you guys on next gen first. I'm gonna show you guys on next gen. So you see right here we have CMC, right? You have you see we have CMC, and I'm gonna show you guys what it should look like when you're stopping and going. So let's go. So you see right here, I'm stopping and going, stopping and going, stopping and going. So basically it's not as basically the difference between next gen and current gen is that basically your player doesn't accelerate as fast as you would in current gen when you when you stop and go in current gen your player he he, he accelerates fast he, he accelerates way faster and the way that you the way that you will do it in current gen it's a little bit different but you see right here we're doing the next gen this is the next gen stop and go when you do this on next gen when you do what i'm about to tell you on, on next gen it will do the stop and go and and this is the one that that works the best for for next gen you, you get out of it the quickest you, you stop the quickest you see right there i kind of messed it up but you kind of have to you kind of have to do a perfect see right there that was it right here and, and basically you'll you'll know that you do it when your your your, your feet stop if you're your, if your feet keep moving after you try to stop then you're not doing it right but when you do it right you will see that your your your, like your feet are just gonna come together your feet are gonna come together hold me show right here just like that your feet will like come together Right there, I kind of messed it up. Ah, uh, see, like, and, and see, that's that's a that, that's an example of me messing it up. If you mess it up too much, your player's gonna come all the way back. So, all right, folks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this next gen stop and go. And this is only for next gen. Do not do this stop and go on current gen. I'm gonna show you guys another way that um that does you know translate to current gen. But this one, this is gonna be for next gen only. So, um, all right. So now let's get into it. So, how to do this next gen stop and go? So when you're running, right, your analog is up. You know, you're running, you're running, you're trying to go up the field. So what you want to do is, what you need to do is, when you're going up the field, what you need to do is you need to bring it down to like a, a, a diagonal. It's, it's going to be like at a diagonal. Do not go straight down. If you go straight down, it's going to be, you're, you're going to be, it's going to mess up. It's going to be all slow and nasty. You, your player is going to turn around. If you go straight down, your player is going to turn around. He's going to turn all the way around. So you, what you need to do, you, can, you need to go at a diagonal and basically it's going to cut your player's movement. He's going to, he's going to stop moving basically. It basically like sets their feet so that, that, so that they actually stop and you're able to accelerate out of it. It doesn't turn you all the way around. So that's what you need to do. You need to go at a diagonal at a diagonal and it basically like glitches to where you know it's gonna stop your feet basically it stops your feet from moving then you can accelerate again and it's gonna be way better than the other stuff so like i said you go at a diagonal when you're running up running up go at a diagonal down like like i said four o'clock or eight o'clock you know when you're you know when you're driving four four to eight that's what it needs to look like for your for your analog stick four to eight you go either way you can go left or right either way you just need to go at a diagonal down so like i said i'm gonna do it again I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. My right here, I'm up. I'm, I'm going straight up, and then right here, diagonal. And, and, and sometimes it's gonna do that, but this is what you want. This is what you want right there. That's what you want. You want that. You want that. The one where it stops your feet. Both your feet are gonna stop at the same time, and that's the one you want because that's the best way to, to fake out defenders. Basically, that's gonna be the best one. So like I said, you're going straight. You're going straight. Then diagonal. And see, see right there. I, I did a little bit too much down. I did. I did too much down in the direction. So right here, like that. Just like that. So you have you have to really practice this. If you do not practice this, you will not get it down. You have to practice this. So, like I said, you're running, you're running. I, I want to show you guys as much as possible. So, like I said, you're running, you're running, and then diagonal down right there. That was it. That's the stop and go that you want. You're gonna stop fast, just like that. That that one was kind of perfect. And like I said, this is the best way to do it because your player is gonna actually stop. He's not gonna do no extra steps forward, and he's not gonna turn all the way around like an idiot. So this is the best way to do the stop and go on next gen. This is the best stop and go. So like I said, you're running, you're running, and right there, that's it. Boom, boom, boom. See right there, I did too much. See if you do it too, if you if you go down too much, your player will turn around just like that. Let's run it back a little bit. 
So like I said, you're running, you're running. It, it, it doesn't matter if your if your guy has high accel or not. It doesn't matter what what is what his uh, acceleration looks like. It doesn't matter what his change of direction is. It doesn't matter none of that. You have to just do it perfectly. If you do it perfectly, you will get this every single time, fellas. So like I said, you're running, you're running. Boom, right there. That is it. You have to go at a diagonal. If you go at a diagonal, your player will do this. That's the stop and go you want. Boom, boom. Like I said, when you're running, you're running, diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. So what I'm doing is I'm doing it at 4 o'clock. I don't like the 8 o'clock. You can do 8 o'clock if you want. But like I said, when you're looking at a time clock, you go 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock on the, on the analog stick. You need to go add a diagonal down. You're going to hit it every single time as long as you practice it. As long as you practice it, boom. It's real easy. It's real easy. You can do it You can do it every 10 yards. Every 10 yards. Even, even every 5 yards, you can do it. Every 5 yards. That's all you need to do. And like I said, if you do it too much down, your player's gonna turn around. Now also falls with this next gen stop and go. What you wanna do with your analog stick, I mean with your with your triggers, I forgot to tell this also. What you wanna do with your triggers is let go of RT. Do not, do not hold RT when you do this. So let's say you're doing it, you let's say you're running, you're running. Let go of RT. That's it right there. Let go of RT. Let go of RT. You need to let go of RT every single time you do this. See right there, I kind of messed up, but see, you need to let go of RT every single time you do this. And the reason why I say that is because if you let go of RT, that's going to lessen the chance of you turning around, and that's going to better the chance of you actually stopping your player. So when you do this next gen stop and go, please, 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 I'm telling you right now, do not hold RT. Do not hold RT. It will mess it up, and it's, it's not, it's, it's not going to be as consistent as you want it to be. So like I said, every time you do this stop and go, let go of RT every single time. And then when you want to speed up again, hold RT again. Hold RT once you want to speed up. All right, fellas. So now I'm about to hop into the current gen one. This is the current gen. I'm still on next gen here. But so this is the thing with this stop and go. This is another stop and go that I want to go over. So basically, this stop and go that I'm going to show you, this will basically work on current gen and next gen, fellas. So this, this stop and go, it, it, it works on next gen, but it's just not as fast. The one that I just showed you, fellas, that, that stop and go method, that one is the fastest stop and go in next gen, and it will it will basically accelerate you the fastest. This one that I'm going to show you now, it doesn't accelerate you as fast, but it still kind of works, and then it works on current gen too. So if you are a current gen guy, you you, you, you play both, you want to be able to do like a, a, a universal stop and go, basically, this will work on both versions. So let me go ahead and show you now, fellas. So this is what it's going to look like, basically. So let's say you're running, you're running. That's kind of it right there. This, this is kind of it. Like I said, on next gen, it's kind of nasty. On next gen, it's nasty. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's nasty on next gen, but on current gen... It 100% works, and then like I said on next gen, it, it's it's just kind of slow, but it's still it's still a, a stop and go. So let's say you're running just like this, and 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 this is definitely gonna fake out your first defender. If someone is clicked on to a defender, you're gonna make them miss if you do that stop and go. Now, are you gonna make a second guy miss, or are you gonna get caught by from behind? Probably, yeah. But this would definitely make the first guy miss. And like I said, this one definitely works on current gen. This one works on current gen if you do play that still. So I just wanted to show you guys this one too. So like I said, this is what it basically looks like. I'm going to show you guys how to do it in a little bit. This is basically what it looks like. This is basically, you're basically just like cutting your player. And he's taking he's taking more steps. Um, it, That's what it looks like on next gen. But on current gen, it's really quick and it's really nice on next uh, on current gen. It's really nice. It looks good. And, and, and you're, you accelerate pretty fast out of it. Now, fellas, with this current gen uh, stop and go, this current slash next gen stop and go, you want to you want to make sure you, you're letting go of RT with this also. Make sure you let go of RT. I mean, you could I, I guess you could hold RT. Like okay, so with this one, you can actually you can hold RT. You can hold RT if you want. Um, but I mean, like I I I, I would recommend to let go of it. I, I would recommend it just because you're gonna get like a better stop. I guess you're, I, I just feel like you'll get a better stop, and then you're you're gonna accelerate better when you like get out of it. Basically, if you're holding RT. It's probably gonna like leave you. Yeah, it's gonna leave you in this animation longer than you should. But if you let go of it, then I, f I feel like you. I feel like you get out of it faster. So I would recommend holding. I mean, let going or let letting go of RT. I would recommend it. But it's not a need. It's not a must. You you, you can. You, it really doesn't matter with this. It doesn't matter if you hold it or let go of it. it doesn't really matter that much. But um, me personally, I would let go of RT. Now, fellas, I also want to show you guys one more thing. Um, like I just said, I just showed you two methods for stop and goes. So you definitely need to use those 100%. Start using the stop and go. Um, I don't have any like clips of me doing it only because I haven't played a lot of games, but I know for a fact, and I've, I've tested it out against like CPUs and stuff like that. I've actually tested it, and that is the best way to do it. I did it also in, uh, when, when Man 21 had next gen. Man 21 next gen, I tried in that, and I got used to it, and I, I brought it over to 22, and it still works even better now because the movement's better. So I don't have any clips of it, but I, I'm telling you right now, 
it works, bro. It definitely works. It's gonna make any user miss 100%. Now, one more move I do wanna show you guys in this video is going to be the spin, fellas. This spin is actually insane, fellas. So, it doesn't matter if you guy if your guy has spin. It, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter if he has a lot of spin or you know max spin. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this spin, and this spin is actually insane. So you're running with Christian McCaffrey. Look at this, fellas. Look at this. Look at this spin, fellas. You do you see how much ground I am covering with this spin? Yes, fellas. Y'all need to start using this now. Now I'm not I'm not sure if this is going to be patched day one of Madden 22 when it comes out next week. I am not sure, fellas. But this spin. If you are playing Madden 22, you need to try this out because it is actually insane. It's a glitchy spin that is it's easily the best uh, the best skill move in the game. The jukes kind of suck. Um, the the trucking, you know, the trucking you need a trucking back, and the stiff arms are kind of trash. So, um, and and the jurors also the jurors are usually good, but now nah, they're not really that good. So this spin, fellas, this spin is insane, fellas. You need to be using this when you play Madden 22. If you if you're not good at stop and go. You 100% need to be doing this spin. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'll show you guys even with DJ Moore. I'll show you with DJ Moore. Let's go ahead and get DJ Moore the ball. Look at it right now. We're doing the spin right here, just like that every single time. And this spin will make anybody miss. It will make anybody miss. It, even the CPU, the CPUs will miss 100%. So this spin is definitely something that you need to be doing in um, Man 22, 100%. So let's get the ball again. Like I said, just like this. And, and to spin, if y'all don't know how to spin, the, the spin button is B. Or uh, a circle on a uh, PlayStation, um, and also you could do it with the right analog stick. You could do it with the right analog stick, like doing it in a circle of motion, motion. So I'll even show you guys with the um, I'll, I'll even show you guys with the tight end too. Get the get the tight end, just like that, boom, just like that. And you can basically steer it. So basically, how you're going to do the, do this finish? All you do is hit the spin button, and then you let go of RT. So if you're running, right? You're running, you're running. Let go of RT. And do the spin and then and then hold the hold the analog stick, the left analog stick in the direction you're trying to go. If you're trying to go left, do it to the left. If you're trying to go right, do the right and the left analog stick to the right. So it just depends which way you're trying to go, which direction you're trying to go. So if I'm if I'm going right, going right, and now I want to go left, let go RT and uh left analog stick in that direction. So it really just depends which way you're trying to go. But fellas, this spin is something that you 100 percent need to be doing if you're playing Mad 22. You're playing, you know, mud franchise and stuff like that you need to be doing this now in yard you can't really do this because they have a you know a, a, a guarantee like they, they have their own spin in the yard so um you could i guess you could try to try this with the the, the yard spin you could try it see if it's kind of glitchy but in core madden and mud and all that type of stuff franchise this this is insane you definitely need to be doing this and like i said i'm not sure if it's gonna get patched or not uh we just gotta see and i'll let you know i'll i'll let you guys know if this does get patched but, um, yeah, this is definitely the best skill move in the game by far. All right, fellas, so that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, fellas, for more. And until next time, peace.